I took these pictures as an example and this is a requested video and I was asked on how large empty tins can be used for something useful instead of throwing it away. So I came up with an idea to use it for storage. Now let's go ahead and get started with the video. This is what I have at home and that's what I'm going to use but you can use whichever large empty tin you have. I'm going to draw lines by the side as my guide to where I'm going to cut it. I'm going to use a pair of scissors for cutting and please be careful so you don't cut yourself. Now that I'm done with two sides, I'm going to cut it at the bottom. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now because the edges are sharp, I'm going to cover them all up with tape. cover them up and I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. I got this set of hinges from Walmart and I'm going to glue them to the tin using a hot glue gun for now just to keep it in place. I got the circular wood plaque from Walmart and I spray painted it silver. The plaque will be used as a petition in the inside. I'm measuring three points where I intend to drill holes to make it easy for me to attach the plaque to the tin. This is the drill gun I'll be using to make the holes. And this is going to be attached using screws from the pack that comes with the hinges. Because the lid covers the whole tin can, I'm going to cut some part of it to ensure the door opens and closes easily. Now that that is done, I'm going to attach it to the top of the tin can. I took them all out and I spray painted them using a navy blue color. I 
I'm using this color because of a vase that I just got recently from a thrift store for $2. And I'll be decorating this vase with this temporary tattoo that I got online. And the link for this tattoo is going to be in the description box below. I'm going to cut out all of the write-ups because I won't be needing them. To apply this tattoo on the vase, I'm going to take off the film that's on top first and then place it facing down. After that, I'm going to use a sponge that's been soaked in water to cover the entire thing until the whole design is soaked with water and with an interval of about 10 seconds each. After I was done, I took off the paper and voila! I wanted the design to be very subtle and not too shouty, that's why I chose this color. Now when it was dry, I used Mod Podge to seal the whole design in. I kept that aside and then repeated the same thing for the cover of the storage tin but that didn't turn out so well because the background color was too dark and I couldn't get a navy blue that was lighter than this so I decided to just leave it the way it is. Now I'm going to be putting both pieces together and I'll be using just hot glue gun for now and then later on I'm going to use a strong adhesive and I'll use an E6000 glue. To keep the door in place I'll be using magnetic ball clips that I got from Walmart. They come four in a pack. And I'll be removing the clips because I'll be making use of just the magnets. This is how they're going to be placed. And now to make sure that they don't move, I'm going to glue them down using a hot glue gun. Now for the base, I'll be using this bowl that I got from the Dollar Tree and I spray painted it navy blue. I did the spray painting inside the bowl so that I can still have a little bit of shine on the outside. I'll be using a strong adhesive to attach the tin can to the bowl. This is a crystal knob that I have at home and I'm going to be attaching it here. I'll be using two inches round mirrors to decorate the bottom and the top of the tin can. I'm also going to be adding gems to the design. When I was done, I cleaned my mirrors using a mirror cleaner and a paper towel. To add another option for opening the storage can, I'm going to be using the handles of these plastic coffee mugs that I got from the Dollar Tree. This is how it's going to be glued to the storage can. And I attach them using a strong adhesive. Depending on the tin can that you're using, mine was strong so I was able to put things on top, like a decorative flower. I'll be using 1 inch round mirrors to decorate the vase to complement the design that's on the mini storage. Depending on the lighting, the flower design that's on the storage can does not show that well, but then that's because I used a darker shade of navy blue. So to make sure yours comes out well, you have to use a brighter color. So 
So for storing little items, I hope you like this idea of using an empty tin for that. And remember to like and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.